Greetings, my excellent friends. Welcome once again to Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. I'm Jeff Kleiber. Day two in Heron Vein, NTL, the mecca of speed skating. So many great things happened today. What I wanted to really focus on today was psychological triumphs. There were several. First of all, Jordan Stoltz, one of the up and coming rising stars in the sport, he wiped out yesterday and turned two in the thousand. Not sure why, maybe hit a boot, maybe his blade broke away. We're still speculating on why. However, he came back with 34-7 today as an 18-year-old, got fourth in here in vain. Great in front of this great Frieslander out in force crowd. So great to see. So Jordan came back, that's in his head, really good. So he nailed it, got back on the horse, and, and kicked some ass. Also, Laurent Dubois, he was affected by Jordan yesterday. Laurent came through today with 34-34, excellent race and brilliant, brilliant skating. His technique is cleaned up and it came through in spades today. 34-34, put the rest in dust and put yesterday behind him when he was impeded by Jordan. So another psychological triumph. Great champions come right back and do not let yesterday hold them back from today. And that's what Laurent did today. He was right there. He knew it. He owned it. Look at this. He's so triumphant. And then we have Patrick Roast, the champion, the Dutch track record holder in TF, two, uh, 6.0514. He blew that off today, 6.04. Sander Eitrum eclipsed Patrick's time by two seconds in Savanger, Norway. And Patrick said, well, you know, due to quads and skating in quartets and they have more wind, all this stuff. And he's like, well, he had an advantage. Well, today he had to put up or shut up, and Patrick Gross did that. He went 6.04 NTL, set a new track record, beat his own track record, and beat Sander Eitrum by four seconds. So he laid down the gauntlet and said, if you want to come after me, do not mess with me. And the race was impeccable. His 10th lap was his fastest lap, which is a perfect trajectory for 5,000, and he skated so well. Timing is cleaner than last year, and he looks lean and fit. So Patrick is going to be a force to be dealt with, Lots of people coming after him. You've got Sandra Eitrum, you've got Bo Snelling, 20 year old out of the Netherlands, had a great race today, fourth. And then Hagar Eingebraten, also from Norway. So Norwegians are coming on strong, going after Patrick, and it's going to be a battle through the season. So that is excellent to see. Also, you've got Antoinette Ribman de Jong. She's, she was on the podium today in the 1500, just brutally strong skater. Great last lap, only skater in the women under 31 in the last lap. So she's well trained, fit, and hammering. So it's so great to see in Friesland, T. Elf, and the fans are out there going wild. It's a fun day, a day two in here in Vain. We'll be back tomorrow with more recap. By the way, I've been blocked by my videos, so I'm doing this type of presentation because ISU, in their inordinate wisdom, thinks that me, having videos out there about you will hurt them. Not sure how that works, but we'll see about it. We'll talk to you next time on Speed Skating Deconstructed, What Makes a Skater Great. I'm Jack Fiber. Later, skater.